Today, we will be doing Cayo Perico Heist. The Pacifist Approach. As you know, Cayo Perico Heist is quite tough after the update. And the heist just fails easily. However, if you follow the method that I am going to show you, you will never fail. I also believe that this is the safest approach. Okay. In this video, I am using the long fin approach. The starting point is main dock. Compound entry point is drainage tunnel. The escape point can be anything since it doesn't really matter. The time I am setting is day here as it will be easier for you guys to see here. My loadout is aggressor. Don't forget the suppressors. Are you guys ready? Straight go for the secondary loot. If you want a complete guide covering all the loot locations and how to deal with guards. Like this video. 50 likes, and I will instantly release the full guide. Now coming back to the video. You can park your boat here. Now I am going to fool this guard, just watch. Once inside, use the forklift to lift the crates as I am doing. This reminds me of the GTA San Andreas mission where we had to load crates into the truck. Nostalgia. Next, climb up and grab the coke. I got lucky here as two stacks of coke are present in this one location. You may not be this lucky, so just go for the good loot that you can grab. While exiting, again I will fool this guard. Just walk out like me. Now head for your boat. Get on your boat and head for the drainage tunnel. Eventually. Jump. Okay. Press G to equip rebreathers. I don't know the exact button on consoles, so if anyone knows just comment as it will help others. I jumped a bit too early, but you can jump a little later. Head for the grating. Cut the grating. Now swim inside this tunnel surrounded by El Rubio's precious waste products. Once inside the compound, strictly stick to the path that I am showing. Now wait for this guard to move. Now, sneak behind these guards like I am doing here. They won't hear you. Now wait for this guard to come down. Hello there. You can sneak now. This guard will remain here throughout the heist so don't worry about him. Go to the office now. Grab the keycard. Loot the safe. Next, hack the keypad. Hacking is really easy, you just need to match the first one here. After that, just go for the first again, then one more to the right. Go for the second one here, one more to the right. Go for the third one here, one more to the right. And so on. Repeat this for the rest of the hacks. I hope I have made it easier for you, but if you still have some doubts then you can add a comment and I will surely reply. Success. 
best. I am going to steal the bearer bonds now. I always forget the passcode somehow so I am going to be careful here. Now get back to the office. You have to get back through the same route that we came from. Wait and watch out for the juggernaut to pass, you don't want to mess with him. Look out for this guard here too. Let him go to the left only then pass. Sneak behind again. Head for the exit by avoiding the guards' paths. You may need to wait for this guard to come and circle back, so have patience. I didn't have to wait here as I was fast. Our character always forgets the exit button. Once outside the compound, you have two options here. Either kill this guard and take his bike, you will need to kill another guard though as his body will get detected otherwise. Or just run. Since this is a pacifist run, I will run here. Jump from the extreme end of the map here. The seabed with the bombs. The mission will end quicker in this location and you will save a lot of time. Otherwise, it takes a long time to swim away. Time for payday. Elite challenge also done. Did you like this guide? 50 likes and I will make a comprehensive guide covering everything. Subscribe for more GTA news, guides and memes.